Hello, this is Mike from MF Wood Shop. Today I got uh, part three of my shop tour. I figured I'd do it on both my mobile uh, shop carts here. And uh, I'm going to break down each one of them for you and show why I do it the way I do it. Stick with me. Alright, the first mobile cart I got uh, is my planer. You've seen me use this a few times. Uh, it's a DeWalt 12 inch planer. It has two uh, cutting blades on it and uh, two speeds on it. Uh, the planer itself works very well. Um, the only thing I regret about this planer is I should have bought the one with three blades on it. I think it would give me a little bit better cut and cut a little bit faster. The only other thing that I don't really like about this particular planer is the exhaust port. Um, the exhaust port works very well, but it's in a stupid location if you ask me. Uh, I think it should be over here or maybe even up top, but uh, you know, it is what it is, but uh, it, it definitely throws up the chips, that's for sure. And I don't need any help from the dust collector. It'll throw it out on its own. Uh, one day I hooked it up and it just went <laughs> clear across the shop. It wasn't, wasn't cool. <laughs> I had to actually go clean it up afterwards. Um, but it does have some uh, nice features like uh, um, pre-depth stop. So you can set it at quarter, half inch, three quarter, one inch, I think. I think it goes up to one and a quarter inch for pre-step or uh, preset stops. Cranks up easily. And uh, quite honestly, I never use the measuring guide over here. I use the, uh, uh, that there, whatever that's called. Uh, I did build this cart. It is actually sitting on a, um, a metal frame with uh, four wheels on it and I just built a wooden frame to go around that and uh, it works really well. In the drawer itself, oops, in the drawer itself I got uh, some uh, PPE equipment, uh, I got some dust mask, uh, some gloves, um, I got tons of these uh, earplugs uh, it's those smushy kind you smush, shove in your ear, and they expand. I got billions of those things. Um, I got some replacement blades in here for my jointer that's stored underneath and for the planer that's up here as well. But the drawer itself works pretty well. It's full extension. Um, simple construction drawer. Nothing fancy. Down underneath is my 6-inch Death, um, bench top planer. Uh, it's a Delta. Uh, that one has two blades on it as well. And again, I wish I would have bought one with three, um, three blades on it. It is a uh, variable speed and it works pretty well for a bench top. And you know, short of the six inch. Uh, piece of wood I can do. I don't have too many complaints out of that. I uh, kind of wish I could do a roll around the tool cart. Sometimes. It has a removable uh, wooden insert up here at the top and uh, just like that. And the only thing I did with that was uh, mounted my miter saw to it. It is a uh, 10 inch compound miter saw. It's a Craftsman. It's an old one. This was actually my very first power tool that my mom gave me for Christmas when I was, I think 17 or 18. And uh, it still works like a champ. It's a little off square, but uh, for rough cutting, it uh, definitely does what I need it to do. I, when I moved into this house, I put it on this cart and uh, when I was doing some uh, stuff outside, uh, building my barn and um, some landscape timber, stuff like that, I just rolled this right out the door and plugged it in and went to work. 
So that's why it was mounted here, and it's been there ever since, going on five, six years now. <clears throat> um, on the side, oops, let me bend that down. On the side here, I just got a power strip, and it plugs in the saw, and the power strip I put here, mostly because it has a really long cord, and I can go anywhere in the shop with that cord. Um, of course, when I'm not using it, I can always just wrap it up right here and it works out pretty well. <clears throat> the cart itself is a Craftsman cart, um, an oldie. It was a, a cart that I used when I first started turning wrenches as a mechanic. And uh, I don't do that anymore, so I brought it home and done this with it. In the drawers themselves, it's mostly tools that I do not use. Um, these are just some extra wrenches and some junk pliers and stuff. This wrench set, I actually won. Check that out. A flame wrench set. I don't know where I won it from. I don't remember. It's one of the vendors at work. They, uh, they gave it to me. But I got a whole set of those and they're nice. I didn't... I just don't use wrenches that often. And what wrenches I do, I beat the heck out of them, so I use my Craftsman's for that, and when they break, I go back and get a new one. Uh, and here is some specialty automotive tools. Um, got the air conditioning recharge system. A, uh, what the heck is that? A, um, Steering wheel puller, uh, race puller, bearing puller. Well, I don't know how my daughter's scissors got in here, but my daughter's scissors. I do use this drawer quite a bit because it's a strong drawer, it's a metal drawer, and I can put all my pneumatic tools in here. And uh, you know, I've got my grinder, or my, uh, yeah, my grinder impact gun when I need it, air hammer that I pull out every now and then, um, quarter inch air ratchet, cutoff tool, little bit of everything in there, all pneumatic tools. Underneath is my very first Meyer saw that I ever had, it's a hand saw. I don't even know what happened to the uh, little block that you put it in to cut miners. I, I would assume that this saw don't cut very well anymore. I mean, I'm running it across my fingers and it's not doing anything. I don't know why, it's what I ended up buying. I think it was like 10 bucks. Uh, nothing else really down there, just junk and a lot of sawdust. Um, so yeah, that's my two mobile bases that I use under here in the shop, and uh, I use them both quite frequently. And uh, this is Mike from MF Wood Shop. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, check this out. Jay Bates sent me a T-shirt. Base bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Jay's custom creations. That's a kick-ass t-shirt. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that.